What's going on, DNA family? Welcome back to another week of Bible study. Each week, we take a short look into God's Word, try to talk about the passage and give some takeaways that we have, mm -hmm. and hopefully start a discussion with you as well. So before we get started, I'm Skip. This is Ashley, and why don't you open us up with some prayer? Okay, well, let's just get right in, huh? Yeah. Okay, Lord, we love you. We thank you. We uh, come to you in the name of Jesus, just giving you praise, thanking you for this day. And I want to pray specifically for the people who are watching this, that you cover them in your love, that you give them understanding as we dissect your word and a, and a better understanding of who you are, Lord. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This week, we're going to look to James chapter 1, and we'll, let's start at verse 21. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, excuse me, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Key verse, verse 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in the mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he is. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one would be blessed in what he does. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot in there, hearing, doing, you know, doing what you know, things yeah. like that. So... What's the takeaway you want to share today? Okay, so a takeaway that I had, and I specifically focused on 22, like you said, to not only be a hearer of the word, because when you're a hearer of the word, it's like you're letting the word go in one ear and out the other, and you're really fooling yourself by making you um, think that you're a good listener when you're really not. Mm -hmm. um, so I had some questions for you. Oh, or maybe just maybe here just one. As you read, it says like you're deceiving yourself, or your um, there's deception sets in. So can you explain that? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. The deception. Uh, when I like this talking about when you hear something and you don't do it, this verse talks about deception, and a lot of times we think about someone trying to deceive us on the outside. Mm -hmm. But what I love about this scripture, it's giving us an insight to the problem that deception starts within mm -hmm. a lot. And so we can hear something and we can think we got it just because we heard it. Right. But then we don't see it in action. And in our heads, we're still saying, oh, I got it. I heard it. It's like, heard the preacher preach that. I know that. So I got it. Mm -hmm. But then if you look at your life and don't see it practiced day in or day out or week in and week out, you start to think you're actually somewhere where you're not. Mm -hmm. And I used to look at it like levels. If I hear something, uh, I want to go to Financial Peace University. I want to be financially free. I got all the information. So I think I'm here, but I'm still spending, not saving, don't have an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. So I'm not doing anything with what I heard. In my mind, I've said, I know it. I'm here. But in my actions, mm -hmm. I'm down here. And the longer we think we're moving where we hear and not understanding where we act, right. that's where the deception is. And so many times we can go weeks, months, or even years in the same place thinking we're moving because we know something, but we never acted on it. Mm -hmm. And I think this scripture isn't just to say, okay, you heard God's word, you're not doing anything, so shame on you. I think it's a, a mirror that we have to look at that we can say, where am I? In reflection to what I know. Mm -hmm. Am I acting on it? Let me look. If I'm not, then I know it. So let me start to change how I act. Mm -hmm. And I think it can also go into what you believe. That kind of directs the way you're going to go. Mm -hmm. If I believe that I'm going to be successful, my actions start to go in successful pathways. So if I truly believe what God's word is saying, then I should be able to look at my actions and see that my actions are starting to line up with his word, to line up with his will, and follow his path. Will I do it all the time? No. But my general trajectory will be towards God and not away from him. Right. And I believe that if you hear the word and begin to practice it, you'll see your life follow this path, and you will no longer be deceiving yourselves, but following after God's best. Yes. In verse 25, it speaks about um, his perfect law. Mm -hmm. And I think that when we do see his perfect law and that free life, mm -hmm. that we'll delight in taking action and yeah, yeah. doing, doing what we're supposed to do. It's not so much do. a chore. It's right. something we actually desire and want to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what else do you have? No, I mean, that. I think that's a lot to try to digest because 
all of us have areas in our life where we've heard or learned about something but aren't practicing it. Right. And I think that we can take small steps to get started saying, what's that thing I learned last year that I didn't do anything with? Right, you forget. What's that thing I did last month that I didn't do anything with yet? Instead of trying to learn something new, let's do some inventory and say, I heard something, let me put it into action. Mm -hmm. I studied something, let me put it into action. Mm -hmm. So we can stop deceiving ourselves and start helping others along the way. Yes. All right. Um, one takeaway or thought that I would like to say because I really like it <laughs> is, um, what good is the salvation if it leaves you exactly where you are? Mm, nice thought. Nice thought. Ain't that deep? Okay. She's so deep. She's <laughs> drowning over here. What good Take is salvation? Out. What was the last part? What? I just want to say it again. What good is salvation? Yeah. If it leaves you exactly where you are. Yeah. So don't just go to church. Don't just go do something and hear it and then say the same place. Right. Let's take it in, internalize it, believe it, digest it, and then act on it so we can see some change and movement. Yes. You know, we love that you tuned in. You know, we would love for you to comment below some thoughts, some takeaways, some things that you've learned from your experience, what God's even spoken to you. Yes. You know, like, comment, subscribe, because we're going to continue this journey each and every week. We love you. God bless you. Because he's called you to be a a sown seed. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. We want to hear from you. And check out our social media. And what else? And don't forget to subscribe. Check out the last video we posted. And we'll see you next time.